the overall goal of this project is to develop a system for organic strawberry production in the United States, in the southeastern United States in particular. The problem is we don't know a lot about how to produce organic strawberries in the southeastern United States. And we face some special challenges that, say, growers in California wouldn't uh, because it's humid and it's warm, and so those are advantages but disadvantages. So really the goal of this research is not any particular piece of the research, but it's the totality to produce a system that would be economically uh, viable for growers and that would be permit them to get or organic strawberries into the, the marketplace nationwide. There are several components to this strawberry production system, and one of the most critical are the cover crops. The national organic standards in the United States require that growers use cover crops. Uh, and of course that has not been historically what we've done in conventional strawberry production. So one of our major objectives was to figure out how to use cover crops, how to incorporate that into a strawberry production system. What we are testing in this study is an integrated crop management approach to producing organic strawberries. So the cover crop management uh, comes into play because we have selected four different cover crops which have the benefit of if you uh, utilize appropriate cropping densities, you can suppress or totally inhibit, in some cases, weed growth, as well as suppress things like sting nematode, which is a key nematode pest of strawberry. Dr. Zhao is looking at cultivar selection because we have many cultivars available Florida, uh, in Florida and nationwide, but they've really never been bred or tested in organic production systems. So she's been looking at eight different cultivars to see which of those cultivars seems to respond the best to an organic production system. And she has tested those in both an open field production system out in the field and in a high tunnel system, which is kind of like a, a horseshoe, say, plastic greenhouse. The high tunnel system is a passively ventilated plastic film covered greenhouse like um, structure that can provide intermediate level of environmental protection and control. For example, um, a high tunnel can, can help protect crops from rain, cold and wind. To date, High tunnels have been used as an important protected cultivation systems for many horticultural crops around the world. Dr. Oscar Leibert is an entomologist here at the University of Florida and he's been heading up our, our research about uh, insect pests on this project. Dr. Leibert has been looking at the pest issues associated with organic strawberry production. Cover crops could either attract more beneficials, which would be a good thing, uh, but also they could potentially could serve, uh, could attract more harmful pests. So really what he's been doing is monitoring these fields very closely to look at both the pest populations and the beneficial insect populations. So that's a longer term piece of research that we'll have to look at over, over the long haul. Yeah, what we hope to learn about organ organic pest management practices is that we are trying to develop a program that both organic growers and conventional growers can use. The second thing about it is that we realize that this is a new system, um, especially for Florida growers, uh, because all of the production systems we have has been conventional. So we feel like we, we would identify some new pest complex and, and we started to do that, so, so to speak. Uh, for example, we have the seed bug. The seed bug has never been a problem um, for conventional growers, but it, it is a definite problem for organic growers. The other piece of this is to look at uh, consumer preferences. Obviously this works if consumers are actually willing to buy these organic strawberries and if they have good flavor and if they have good shape and color. Dr. Jifun Gao, who's a faculty member over in Food and Resource Econ uh, Economics, has been looking at consumer willingness to buy organically produced strawberries. So he's been running taste tests to see if people like the flavor and the color and all that sort of thing. And he's also been looking at cost comparisons, the whether people would be willing to pay a premium for organically produced strawberries. So that's a critical component of the system too, to have a product that consumers actually want and will pay for. 
my role on this project has really been two things. One of them has been the outreach component to uh, work with growers and get information about the project out. And the other one has been to handle project evaluation and to make sure that we have good input about what we're doing on the research end of things. During the project, we've had grower input on several occasions. And it's been really critical, not only to this project, but to future research. So growers came and what they did was they assessed the research in the field. Sometimes, by the way, they identified problems, say, in our field uh, research that we hadn't identified. So it's really been a critical component of this, but I think the level of involvement from producers has been really exceptional in this project, and we really owe a lot to them. We really need to be able to do this research consistently over at least a three to four year period, and part of that's because it, it is systems research. When you look at a system, things go into or out of equilibrium over time. They change, they develop over time. This project is part of the National Star Strawberry Sustainability Initiative, and that was started by Walmart Foundation. I think that uh, we really should take our hats off to Walmart for funding this research. I think that indicates an interest in, uh, in American agriculture that is admirable, good for farmers in the United States, good for our economy. And I think the kind of investment that Walmart's made in, in our project and others uh, really can make a difference in the long term. I, I think it can.